Hi students, I am Farah Johnson of New Catholic Mission School, Jabua. Today, we are going to learn another lesson from the book Vistas of Class 12th for the subject English Core. And the name of the lesson is The Third Level by Jack Finney. Now, as far as the syllabus is concerned, we have the literature, writing skill and reading skill. And as far as the literature is concerned, for the current academic year, this is the last lesson. We have already covered uh, 14 lessons, 6, uh, 5 poetries and 9 prose. And this is the last one as far as the lesson is concerned. From next video, we will be covering on writing skill. Now, before we go to the lesson, I would like to uh, put forward a few questions. Dear children, have you ever heard of something called defense mechanism in psychology? What is defense mechanism? Sometimes uh, we meet with unpleasant situations, uh, unhealthy uh, working climate and we do not really enjoy such type of uh, situations. In such situations what we do? We deliberately avoid and we try to choose a situation in which we feel very comfortable. And that is called defense mechanism. For example, you, uh, you are in this class, you don't like a particular subject. Let us say you do not like mathematics. But then you are forced to sit in the class. Sometimes what children do? <clears throat> they get into daydreaming. In order to avoid this unpleasant situation of attending the mathematics class, you get into a world of your own dream where you feel quite comfortable, nice which you are quite some we all of us do that sometimes so defense mechanism is a mechanism in which we try to avoid unpleasant situations and we choose a situation in which we feel very very comfortable uh, nice about it and that's what we call as defense mechanism and this lesson as far as this lesson called the third level this is something similar to what i said today just now that is <coughs> uh, this that is the, the main hero of the lesson by name Charlie. He deliberately chooses a situation which does not in reality exist. He wants to avoid uh, the unpleasant experience of his life and he is choosing another situation uh, in which he feels quite comfortable and that is what the whole lesson is all about. <coughs> the Grand Central Station of New York has two levels but Charlie the 31 year old protagonist of the story, a city dweller, declares that there are three and claims to have been there as well. So, this there is a, a station by name, the Grand Central Station in New York. Um, it has got actually only two uh, levels, but then this man by name Charlie, he affirms that he has already discovered, he has already discovered the third uh, level and he, he also affirms that he has been to that place. And that's what the whole thing is all about. <coughs> now, what is the theme of the uh, lesson? The story, the third level, clearly explores the science fiction genre of time travel. Jack Finney, the recipient of the World, War, World Fantasy Award, interviews fantasy with reality in his projection of time travel. Charlie, the protagonist, wishes to be transported to the third level, the world of Galesburg, Illinois. Illinois in, 19, uh, in 1894 which is supposed to be a much happier and quieter place to be in. So he deliberately chooses this place called the third level in order to escape from his, uh, uh, the reality of life and that's the whole thing is all about. <clears throat> now let us try to understand the synopsis, the gist of the story. The third level written by Jack Finney blends fiction with reality. It is also about a man's wish to escape from the harsh realities of present life. So, sometimes when you are not happy with the present life situations, we deliberately try to avoid that and we choose a situation in which we feel comfortable. And that is what Charlie has done here. Charlie, though he does not admit it, wants to go into the past as he is unhappy. So, he wants to um, enter into the past life, maybe 100 years back. He wants to get into that in which he feels quite happy because probably he is not happy with the present uh, demands of life. 
He is unhappy with his wife. In fact, he is as unhappy as he finds the world in which he lives full of hurry, tension and war. <clears throat> so the world is full of uh, uh, people are in big hurry. Uh, the world is moving very fast and there is hardly any time for anyone to spend time with anyone else. And he is probably fed up. He is uh, tired of this life and that is why he wants to run away from this reality and he wants to spend his time in altogether different uh, world. His uh, <coughs> psychiatrist friend Sam tells his stamp collection also an escape into the past. So he says even his hobby of collecting the stamp is also an escape from the present life to the past life. <coughs> there were only two levels at Grand Central Station. However, Charlie found a third one. It was by chance Many a times he was lost there. He was always discovering new doorways, new corridors and new tunnels. So, <clears throat> as he is lost in his own dream world of third, uh, the, the third level, he always says, uh, he always finds himself uh, exploring new uh, ways and tunnels and uh, all those things. But in fact, in the, in the Grand Central Station, there are only two levels. But then he, has, he says, there is third level. He had begun to think that the Grand Central was always pushing out tunnels and new corridors like root of a huge tree. So he always found that uh, this third level uh, in Grand Central Station, uh, he is able to explore new things out of his imagination. <clears throat> there he lost his way and found himself on the third level. This level was entirely different and old fashioned. So this third level which he found is altogether very old fashioned probably few years back I mean which does not exist but then he in fact he wants to be in a world which is much older than the present life and that is why he also finds the station much old fashioned the locomotive the brass uh, spittoons and the naked uh, glistide belong to the previous century he desired to escape to Galesburg the town of his dreams However, he was nearly arrested. The money he gave to pay the fare was different from that in the use today, in use those days. The booking clerk thought that he was cheating. Charlie thus ran into the present. He never found the third level again. However, his psychiatrist friend, who did not believe that the third level existed, found it and escaped to the escape to Galesburg of 1894. So this is all just about it. Before we go, there are three main characters in this, uh, in this fiction. One is Charlie, the main hero. Another one is friend Sam, the psychiatrist. Third one is wife, uh, Louisa. So these are the main characters. We will try to see the three different characters of this fiction. First one, Charlie is the main hero, the man who wants to escape from the present life. He is the one who always finds himself in the third level exploring new, way, new tunnels and <coughs> new world. So let us see what he, what he is about. <coughs> Charlie is a 31 year old man in a tan uh, gabardine suit and a straw hat. One night on his way back from work, he decides to take the subway at the central station, which as everyone knows has two levels. So after his work, he one day he was, <coughs> uh, he was trying to <coughs> take the subway in the uh, Grand Central Station and it has got only two levels. Preoccupied and in a hurry, Charlie discovers an unknown exit that takes him through a long corridor into the third level. Here, there were fewer ticket windows. The man at the booth were green eye shades and the lights were open. Uh, Charlie offers. Charlie leaves, deciding to return to the next day after uh, converting all his savings into old style currency. But Charlie has never again found the third level. When Charlie tells his psychiatrist friend Sam Winner about this, Sam tells him that it was a walk, waking dream wish fulfillment. So, when he discovers, when he discusses his problem with his uh, psychiatrist friend, the friend says it is a waking dream. Uh, <coughs> it is a waking dream wish fulfillment. Meaning, uh, you are in a, you are lost in a daydream, and <coughs> it is unfulfilled desire. You are trying to fulfill it. In, in your own uh, artificial form and that's what he says as Charlie was unhappy in the modern world with its insecurities and fears and just wanted to escape 
Charlie never again found the corridor that led to the third level at the Grand Central. Ironically, his friend Sam, the psychiatrist, disappeared only to reach Galesburg, Illinois in 1894. So, <clears throat> this is what all the, the main thing about this person Charlie is, he is in the habit of uh, discovering new ways, new tunnels, uh, old fashioned central uh, station on the third level. So, that is what he is all about. So, which, which means he is trying to escape from his present life into the past life where he feels quite sa uh, secure and safe. Now, second one is friend Sam. Sam Winner is Charlie's friend and psychiatrist and next most important character in the story. So, Sam, the friend of Charlie, is a psychiatrist by profession and he uh, counsels this person for his problems. He concludes that the third level is a figment of Charlie's imagination induced by the pressure of modern living. So, this is only an artificial um, creation. This third level is only an artificial creation of uh, Charlie in which he finds safe, comfortable, secure because he is not able, probably able to cope up with the demands of the present modern world. When Charlie fails to find the third level of the Grand Central Station, his wife Louisa is worried for him and tells him to stop looking for it. But after some time, both start looking for it because they find proof that the third level exists. Charlie's friend Sam, Vena disappears. A first day cover that Charlie discovers in his collection is signed by Sam and is from Galesburg, Illinois, dated July 18, 19, 1894. Charlie subsequently discovers that Sam had bought $800 worth of old style currency and moved to Galesburg, Illinois in 1894. He had set up hay and feed and grain business as he had always said that it is, it is what he really wished to do. Charlie, he could not go back to his old business psychiat psychiatry <coughs> in Galesburg, Illinois in 1894. Now the third character is Louisa. Charlie's wife Louisa was initially angry with Sam's suggestion that Charlie was unhappy when Charlie tells him about his sojourn to the third level of the Grand Central Station in New York. Then Sam explains that it is not uh, marital unhappiness but dissatisfaction and discontent with modern day living with its insecurity, fear and war and worry. To escape from these pressure, Charlie's mind had sought refuge in the idyllic world of the third level. Louisa's conviction in the existence of the third level is affirmed only when she sees the note sent by Sam himself for, from Galesburg, Illinois, dated July 18, 1894. Since then, Louisa has been actively involved in looking for the third level along with her husband Charlie. So, this the lesson is all about, as I said, this hero by name Charlie, he is looking for plays uh, artificially created by himself, a place in the Grand Central Station of New York, which already has in fact only two levels, but he has created a third level which is old fashioned in style and he is trying to look for uh, new uh, avenues of third level and in which he feels quite comfortable. As the psychiatrist says, Sam, he says, he is deliberately trying to run away from the reality by, of facing the modern uh, demands of the modern life, modern world and he is happy, probably not able to cope up with the pressure of the present situation and he is probably happy to live in a world which is 100 years back probably and he is quite happy to be uh, in a old fashioned life. So thank you students, it's a very, um, fi it's a fiction with, uh, uh, with a little bit of psychology. So if you are not understood enough, please refer the notes that is being sent along. Thank you.